Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a infinite standard loop which results in the game being a draw. Relatively easy to pull off as well. We are also going to talk about legendary planeswalkers. Whether or not that is going to become something. And lastly, a combo modern that kills your opponent really, really fast. All of these use the new Axlon spoiled card. So let's get with the Hostage Taker. So Hostage Taker is a rare card for two, a blue, and a black. Whenever it enters the battlefield, exile target artifact or creature until Hostage Taker leaves the battlefield. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast that spell. The power and toughness is unknown, but not relevant here. So if there, this is the only artifact or creature in the battlefield, it ends the game in a draw as it keeps exiling and returning itself indefinitely. If it isn't, you can still choose Hostage Taker as its own target, causing an arbitrary large number of enter the battlefield, leaving the battlefield triggers. This card, if printed, is an absolute mistake. There's no other way to put it because it ends every game in a tie. So let's assume you're just losing and it's you're down to one life and your opponent has a ton of cards. Play this card and it's a tie. I cannot imagine this actually being a real card. It, it just cannot be, right? For four mana, you can just win the game or at least tie the game. You win the game if you have a enter the trigger, enter the battlefield, or leave the battlefield effect that stacks. You tie the game in any other case. Next, we get Legendary Planeswalker. And this was from, as I said, the Magic community is very good at picking apart cards that are spoiled and leaked. And in this case, someone magnifying the image of Jace and Jace seems to be a legendary planeswalker now the legend rule and the planeswalker uniqueness rule there might be a i don't know if this is mtg finance worthy or what it actually affects but all planeswalkers could be legendary now which is interesting it has some financial implications very much like magic origins how you have legendary creatures becoming planeswalkers but you could have a legendary creature and the planeswalker out in the same time so fascinating i i don't know why planeswalkers were not legendary to begin with but now they may be made legendary and as always we have jace so people are contemplating because Jace is unique and he may make copies of himself. Maybe the legendary rule was changed just for Jace and it's not going to be applied retroactively. I don't, again, I don't know what it would change. I don't feel like it would change that much if I'm reading it correctly. Nonetheless, it's interesting if Jace does copy himself, kind of mimics himself and he needs this rule in place for just him then that makes sense. Like imagine a planeswalker that can copy itself. So instead of one Jace, you have like five Jaces. How cool would that be? That would be a really novel and creative concept of planeswalkers where it would be impossible for your opponent to continue to kill them because it would just generate more copies of a planeswalker. Of course, its effects would have to be very, very weak. As with all cards that are spoiled, we will always see some type of combo in modern. And this is the worst combo I've seen, but it does work. So you have Dragon Tempest. Uh, Dragon Tempest is a card from Dragons of Tarkir. One in a red. Whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, it gains haste until end of turn. Not relevant. Whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player where X is the number of dragons you control. Arcane Adaption costs two and a blue. I love being in blue and love being red. Those are splinter twin colors, so they have been proven very strong in terms of you have access to lightning bolt and card draw and then card manipulation as well. 
as arcane adaptation enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control are the chosen type. You're going to pick dragons here. And now all of your little dudes are dragons that are going to stack a ton of damage. First little dude, let's see, when a dragon enters the battlefield, one damage. Second little dude, two damage. Three damage, four, five, and then six. 21 damage to the face. <laughs> you need free land, you need these two cards, and you need a bunch of one uh, zero drops. That being said, how awesome would it be to actually pull it off, right? That would just be insane. And well worth going 0-2 on many of the Pro Tour scenes because then you would be on camera, right? People would be like, oh, this is a new tech. Everyone go out and buy this new Arcane Adaptation card because this is Tier 1. Anyway, lots of fun stuff coming soon, and this was fascinating what's happening right now. I could not predict it, but hey, it's leaks are leaks, right? Bye, guys.